as a film nerd, not only do I watch a lot of films, but I also have a running log, not only in a spreadsheet, but also on letterbox.com where you can follow me, by the way, if you want to, you know, look at what movies I'm watching and what I think about them. But I log twice what movies I watch and when I watch them. And part of that is a rating and sometimes I'll write an actual formal review on Letterboxd, but not for like nine out of 10 films I watch, just a rating. And I just wanted to take some time to discuss not only what my rating system is to me, you know, what each number on the 10 point scale means to me, but also why I rate the films I watch. I now rate every single movie I watch on a 10 point scale, and I don't use any decimal points in my rating system, just a whole number one through 10. My film rating system is a little weird and it kind of relies a lot on rewatchability because one of my favorite things to do is rewatch a film. And if a film is good enough that I wanna rewatch it, or watch it more and more times over, obviously, in my opinion, it's a better movie. Versus a movie that I don't even finish or definitely will never rewatch is definitely a lot lower on the scale. Starting off right out the gate, a one is basically completely unwatchable or I didn't even finish. A one is very rare, I hardly ever rate films a one. Most of the ones that are on my log are films that I just plain turned off, which I try not to do. I try to finish every film I start, but every now and then, I have a one. A two out of 10 kind of just feels like a waste of my time. There's not really that many redeeming qualities. I can't really see why somebody would like it. I did finish it. I won't revisit it. By the way, obviously there are more complexities within this rating system and things I weigh very heavily on what I think is good film. Some of the things I love the most and look for the most in film are really unique, interesting cinematography. Editing always sticks out to me, good or bad. And the overall like vibe and aesthetic of the film as an art piece really means a lot to me. Moving on though, a three has some redeeming qualities, but I probably won't rewatch the film. A lot of the Marvel movies ended up being a three for reference. Honestly, anything in the first five, like one through four, I hardly ever rate films that. We mostly go out of our way to watch films that we think we're going to like, or we know we already like with rewatches. I try to go out of my way and watch films that I think I won't like. And honestly, I'm very often happily surprised and end up rating them pretty highly. That being said, a four definitely has some good moments, but kind of maybe just didn't quite hook me for one reason or another. Maybe something really pulled me out of the film, which is surprisingly easy to do for me because I'm paying attention to so much of how a movie was made. Five is straight up just mid. The back half of my scale is where things really start relying on rewatchability, at least of how I've described each number rating. Starting with a six is worth a rewatch. I will probably rewatch a six. Seven is really good, but just not quite all the way there. Definitely missing a few extra things that I personally want in a film that I really want to watch more and more times. And eight is a really well-made film, has a good story, has pretty good cinematography, pacing, all that. And it's just really a good film, but it's just kind of missing that little sprinkling on top. I have a lot of eights. Seven and eight are honestly probably my most common rating. Six or seven is probably average, but seven or eight is the big chunk for sure. And then we get to nine and 10, which are pretty similar. A nine, I just feel like I want more. This is where I start looking into behind the scenes and extras and bonus features and interviews with the cast and crew. And a 10 is basically that, but to me, a 10 really sticks out as just a film that I could watch and then honestly pretty much immediately just watch it again. And I've done this sometimes. Tens are rare, but they are there, and I do have some tens, and all of the tens on my list I could definitely watch a lot, and I have watched at least most of my tens a good number of times. And I know I kind of have a lackluster answer that I don't really know why I rate film. I think part of it is that it makes recommending films easier. Part of it also makes comparing films easier to say like, oh, well, this was an eight, this one was a six, this is why it was a six versus that one was an eight, and that's kind of the difference. I hope this helped. If you rate films, let me know kind of what your scale is or what kind of scale you use. And if you have a specific reason or reasons why you rate films, I would love to start a conversation about that in the comments as well, because up until making this video, I had never really thought about it. I just kept rating them and I was like, why am I doing this? So that's the purpose of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nonetheless, keep watching films and until the next one, do the right thing. Good vibes only and never stop creating. Peace.